out here on the rooftop to my apartment. I love coming out here and getting the fresh air. The fresh air is so healing to me and just being in nature just feels good. So on days when I'm working like Monday through Friday and I can't just get up and leave the house and just go into the middle of nature. I love to go on the rooftop and get some fresh air. I twisted my hair up well, I retwisted my hair, so that's why my hair looks like this because I just tried to bobby pin them back so it wouldn't look so, so, uh, you know, so I have my hair. It's really like this. So I just bobby pin these back. So but I just twisted my hair with some of my own organics hair milk. I've really just been on everything healthy everything natural everything organic vibe as y'all already know for real so when it comes to my hair i no longer am the queen of doing the most or using a whole bunch of products i like to make sure i have a good good shampoo and conditioner like a deep conditioner a good product to keep my hair hydrated and i keep a nice oil on deck i stay with some eco style gel so i can stick my hair back and yeah that's about it these days, I really don't do much to my hair, honestly. I just let my hair rock. I keep it tucked under the wig or I keep it just, I try to keep it hydrated, whether it's in a bun or whether it's twisted up or braided or whatever it is. And I just let it do its thing. It's growing and flowing. And it's crazy how, like, when I first started out with my hair journey years ago, I was always so concerned about how long my hair was, um, comparing my hair to everybody else's hair and, it's like, girl, you are Kyra. You're not nobody else. So the sooner that you learn that you should just embrace all the aspects of yourself, the better off we'll be. And that goes for each of us. So yeah, that's my hair spiel. It really is so true that comparison, you know, is the thief of joy. And y'all, like, I see so many changes in myself from where I started to where I am now with my YouTube channel and just on this journey and um, I just embrace every moment I seeing the journey and having the blessing of having it documented on the internet is a really beautiful thing I'm so appreciative for it the wind is windy y'all like the air is gonna do what the air wants to do but being in a place in my life where I can really appreciate the evolution, appreciate the journey, and I'm coming into my own and, and continuing to come into a place of really feeling good from the inside and making sure that all the choices I make and everything that I surround myself with is divinely aligned with making sure that I feel well from the inside, from a holistic mind, body, soul perspective, which y'all know that's what I'm all about. So yeah, it's just been crazy. I don't even know what prompted me to say this i just thought about it but it's it's really been crazy it's been a dope experience to see just the evolution and y'all like i used to be so concerned with like having every hair product in the whole wide world like wanting my hair to grow waist length by this time like length check every day like too much too much too much too much too much and what i'm finding through my hair and through everything else in life is that the most growth occurs just let it flow just let it flow i got my green juice y'all know i don't play about my green juice i missed my juicers so much when i wasn't home like over these few months in that moving process i was so excited to get back to my juicer y'all have no idea this right here is my go-to green juice 10 times out of 10 this is what the base of my green juice is this is cucumbers i think this i juice three cucumbers not like in this jar but this is cucumbers one granny smith apple spinach and lime juice and this right here the level of hydration okay that i feel on the inside that my body feels my skin feels from this the cucumber base is just mm, ah, chef's kiss I talked about this more in detail in my green juice video, but I have a city of wellness healing laboratory, like a kitchen diagram that I got from Queen of Fua. I'll drop the link down below if I remember. They got the bikes out. Uh, if I remember, I'll drop the link below, but I wanted to show you guys because 
wind is winding. The wind is winding. But you should have some level of a water-based vegetable in your green juice. Not me going on a rant about my green juice. But the point is, you either want to make the base of your green juice is celery or cucumber. Um, I used to buy green juice like out of the store and stuff, but I, I just there's really no need for that. I think if you're somebody who doesn't get your if you're somebody who knows that you could be better at getting your your daily dose of green veggies and your spirulina, your chlorophyll, if your levels are low, if you're not getting all of the minerals and nutrients that your body deserves and needs and all of the vitamins and goodness, um, I would definitely encourage you to start implementing drinking green juice into your lifestyle. You can get green juice anywhere for all of these days and you can always make it yourself. Buying green juice out at the store is expensive, like like so expensive. I'm talking like, I don't even know, like five, six dollars. I couldn't even tell you. Like, I can get a couple of cucumbers for probably like a dollar fifty for like three cucumbers, probably, and one Granny Smith apple, spinach, all that stuff. Like, I can get enough stuff to make like a week worth of green juice for ten dollars or less. So that above the fact that I just like to do it myself because I like to put my love and my energy and pour myself into everything that I make and make sure that I know exactly what's going into it. But yeah, definitely make sure you're getting your vitamin boost, your hydration boost. It's so important and I really hope you guys can hear me. It's so loud up here. This morning I made myself some chia seed porridge which is so good. Like, so good i recorded a video with like it's not funny but i recorded a video with like five of my go-to plant-based recipes it was like two breakfast options two no like one lunch option and two dinner-ish not me like dinner-ish but yeah i recorded this video and I, I started editing the video too i never finished editing the video will that video make it to the internet I don't know i definitely have to give y'all the the recipe video for sure but i may reshoot it but yeah y'all honestly i just be in the house enjoying myself my home is my sanctuary it's my sacred space my body is my temple i treat it as such and i really enjoy being in the kitchen there are so many health benefits to plants and to food that comes from nature and comes from the earth and that's a whole another story for a whole other day but just know that your girl be in the house cooking okay like i love to cook it's so relaxing and your energy really 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 does go into everything that you touch and put life into and so i really enjoy taking fruits and vegetables from the earth that i know will benefit my body and taking different spices and taking my love and my my everything that i have <laughs> everything that i have to give to my food um, and just putting it in there while I'm cooking and being able to heal myself and heal my family is so, so special. So that's my brand. One day I want to get a garden. I have been so tapped into Drika Gates, her YouTube channel. I've been tapped into her for a mad long at this point, but she lives on a farm and her content is so wholesome. It's so therapeutic. She's a Virgo. It's giving good, good earth sign energy. Like it feels grounding. It just feels like food for the soul, which y'all know I'm a soul food, not eye candy type of chick. Her content, she lives on a farm and so she has a beautiful garden and, and watching her plant these different fruits and vegetables and foods and herbs and watching her bring these things to life from the flowers to everything has been so inspiring and I'm so looking forward to being able to have a garden when it's my opportunity to get a home because right now you know we live in an apartment life but when I do get a home I'm so looking forward to getting a garden speaking of garden I got this book right here this is a notebook one thing about me, I stay strapped with um, some notebooks and I'm really strategic about which which type of um, subject matter I put in each of my notebooks. I don't like I don't like for the notes that I'm writing down for work and stuff like that. I don't like for work stuff to be intertwined with like my reflection, my my grand rising notes, my my daily soul reflection. Those two don't interweave. And this one right here is super special. This one says uh 
grow at your own pace. This one right here, I got this from TJ Maxx, you know, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Home Goods, Ross, all of them, holla at your girl. <laughs> like, and I got this notebook and I'm so, so excited to use this because this is where I'm going to be writing down a lot more of my recipes. I'm gonna be writing down my dreams and manifesting. One of the videos Driga had posted was of her manifesting her dream garden. That was like the first, her, her dream garden, I believe. That was like the first video of her living on a farm series on her YouTube channel. And I actually just went back and watched it earlier today before I came up here and it just was very, nourishing for the soul i'm trying to get y'all i just wanted y'all to get into the skin really quick you see it's not flawless it's just me you know i got my hair in twists i this is me but y'all i have been using the face moisturizer from drika's skincare the same drika that i just was telling y'all about i'm gonna put the link in the description and obviously i was super tapped into her products and to anything that she creates because i know that it's created organically and with love and I know that a lot of the products that are inside of the moisturizer and the different skincare stuff is organically sourced is sourced straight from the farm is beneficial to my skin I can read all of the ingredients she has a super cool tool on her website that gives you a breakdown of the ingredients where you can click and see what each one means it's not like a product that has a whole bunch of filler stuff that you've never heard of it's manufactured in all types of factories so I just wanted you to get into this glow and know that it's partially from Drinka, partially from the global Woman, and all the way from the Dubai. I love to just come up here and get some fresh air. I love to really engulf myself in nature. It's so healing and um, very centering. I feel like I had to, we all have to make a conscious effort to center ourselves and especially in the world because there's just so much going on all the time with work and lives and family and this and that and we always get pulled in so many different directions it's so so important to make sure that you take care of your soul and journaling and learning more about myself having more internal dialogue and opening up conversations with myself and just reflecting has been so beautiful um but yeah so this book i'm super excited to just kind of write down some of my dreams and just just manifest the dreams of my life. I'm super excited to write and hear about the type of home I want to have and the type of energy that I wanted to feel like. Um, recipes that are healing and cleansing for the soul and all types of stuff. I'm super excited as well to document my journey and share it in whatever capacity feels aligned and feels authentic to me and to the creator and divine alignment is what I'm all about. And so I haven't been beating myself up about the fact that I haven't been posting a whole bunch of content or, or as I'm going through this evolution, I'm just flowing. And I was watching this interview the other day with Lauren London um, on the Jay Shetty podcast, actually. And she said something that I just found to be so profound and so powerful. And she said that she tries to approach her life by flowing with the river, she doesn't fight with the rocks. And I, I've been saying that as an affirmation over my life every day. I feel like it's so powerful. She also talked about, it's windy out here, so follow me. She also talked a little bit about just her energy and her presence and recognizing that she is a representation of the divine. And so making sure that you do your healing work and you do your soul work so that any space you enter, people get, nothing but good vibes and good energy and a representation of the divine and a representation of, of that godlike energy bringing light into a space and bringing okay but yeah bringing this godlike energy into spaces and just not allowing the the ebbs and flows of life not allowing us to don't pick up stuff and carry stuff that you really don't need to be carrying and um don't impose that onto other people when you walk into these spaces and just continue to be committed to your journey and to your growth and to your healing she didn't say all this but this was the energy that i was getting from what she said is just being conscious of how we represent ourselves in the world because we are a representation of the divine and because we are a representation of the creator i have so completely limited my intake of low vibrational 
content, content that I feel, or just information that I just feel like doesn't serve my highest best and where I'm constantly working and growing and evolving to be, or more importantly, where I'm at right now. Um, and yeah, so this journey, the evolution is always, the journey is always flowing and I just felt called to turn my camera on and just kind of start talking and sharing this. I was thinking a lot about like, what type of content should I create? How do I go about it? I don't want it to feel too structured. I want it to flow. How do I, all the things and I just, and as you guys know, meditation is so big for me. I talked about this quite a bit on my channel and previous videos and through this period, uh, this transitional period of me moving from one space into the next and me just going with the flow of life and the flow of the river, I definitely fell off my meditation game, but your girl is back. I still was making sure to prioritize quiet time or still time for myself, but I wasn't as disciplined in the meditations. I also feel like as we grow and evolve, our needs and things become different. And so I pivoted a little bit from the guided meditations and I'm reaching a place now where I feel called to circle back to the guided meditations and circle back to the motivational audio on a more consistent and like regimented basis. But I've been doing a lot of chakra alignment meditations and focusing on the different energy centers from my root chakra all the way up and meditating on one energy center and just soaking up information like a sponge and being divinely guided to information and seeing how that aligns with where I'm at and just healing myself from the root chakra all the way up all the way up to the crown chakra and yeah it's been a beautiful journey I've been working out a lot my fitness journey has been also spiritual because everything is spiritual and um I mean, maybe I will share some content of me working out. I'm definitely not nobody's fitness trainer. I'm nobody's um, professional athlete, you feel me? So I'm definitely not going to be creating content like this is what you should do. But I can definitely share with you guys just uh, a flow of how my morning routine and my morning rituals go and a flow of how I include ritual in my day and, and how... I tap in to make sure I'm getting my mind, body, and soul wellness. I think that would be super, super cool. That's why I'm out here on the roof now. I talked to you guys a little bit about this, but I've been up here reading The Way of Integrity. This is by Martha Beck. This is actually on Oprah's, uh, Oprah's book list. Oprah's, I don't know what the correct word is, but I like to follow along with Oprah's book club. Oprah's book club, there you go. And I've seen that this was one of the most recent reads on her book club. And I haven't gotten too far into this book, but um, it already has really spoke to my spirit and really helped me to align myself back up. I feel like an area that I'm working and growing through is not being such of a control freak. Um, <laughs> I'm a Scorpio so do the math on that and yeah I just feel like I'm, I can be the type of person where if, if I don't wake up at the exact time that I wanted to or if I don't get the exact things on my schedule done by the time that I wanted them to it can throw off the trajectory of my day and I may be less likely to accomplish all of the things that I want to at 100% or 110% like I want to. Um, and this book right here talks about the fact that the way of integrity is about being aligned internally. And she says that Martha Beck shows us how having integrity, a word that simply means wholeness, gives us purpose, emotional healing, and a life free of mental suffering. She presents a clear cut process anyone can use to regain integrity and overcome lifelong patterns like people pleasing, self-sabotage, destructive habits, and feeling stuck. All of these dysfunctions arise when we lose touch with what truly makes us feel whole. This book is super cool because she just talks about feeling balanced internally and we lose integrity and we lose that balance when we're at conflict with what we want to do but our actions are saying otherwise or our subconscious is leading us otherwise and all the things. So 
I've been reading this a little bit at a time and it's like really good brain food. Yeah, so I just feel inspired. I feel alive. I feel radiant. Um, and I feel ready to share. It's important for me, the type of person that I am and just, just in general, um, it's important for me to feel like the timing is right and feel like I have something of value to add that, that is healing to everyone and as you heal the people around you heal by me going through my own healing journey and sharing it online with you all hopefully it will inspire some of you to um, take those steps for yourself it's not about oh I gotta be vegan or oh I need to meditate every day or oh I need to do this it's not about that stuff it's really just about prioritizing ourselves in a way that is authentic to why we are divinely put on this earth not in a way that is is self-serving and low vibrational follow me and um just showing up for yourself because by showing up for ourselves and, and making sure that we have a relationship with god um we're able to show up for other people when when one of us when we all win you know it's like as you heal the people around you heal that's something that i've seen in mimi the fine guru in um one of the videos she has on her YouTube channel is like a guided meditation and it says that just as you heal, the people around you heal and it's so powerful. So I'm super excited to hear about your healing journeys. Hopefully we can just cultivate a space where we can share and enlighten one another. We're flowing with the river. We are not fighting with the rock.